Oh, hello. We are back once again. It is the Josh Potter Show. I, of course, am Josh Potter. Please follow along on Twitter at J underscore Potter. Instagram is at Josh underscore Potter. There you'll find everything that you need when it comes to me, whether it be uh, links to the Patreon, links to Twitch, which I uh, am starting again, which is I'm just I love Major League Baseball, the show so much. So I'm starting that up again. Also, uh, if you want to see me live, May 19th, going to be in Indianapolis, going to be in Philly on June 2nd. July 15th and 16th, I believe. That is San Diego at the Mike Drop Comedy Club. I'm going to be in Zanies in Chicago come August, and we're trickling some things in. Get ready for some announcements on that. And boy, oh boy, the roach has crawled very slowly out from under the fridge this morning, a little hungover. It's because I was partying with my guest that's with me here today. To my left, it's the one, the only Colm Tyrell from the Colm Tyrell podcast. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? How are you over, feeling dude? over there? I'm, I'm a broken soul. Do you think you know? hangovers are easier in LA because of the sunshine or harder? Uh, it's your first time here, yeah? No, I've been here a few times. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah. This, but this is my first time ever trying to do anything. You know? <laughs> what does that mean? You know, like I went to some place called the pantry for breakfast. Okay. Usually, I just sit in my oh, in the room, in yeah, the room, yeah. But yeah. I was like trying to do things this time. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so what'd you do? What'd you get get into? You, you, so you're hungover like me. Yeah, I'm broken. But that that's because we were at the store. And yeah. I think they only had they only had Miller lights. That's my cup of tea. And I, I never drink Miller lights, and that's why I think my body reacted badly. Well, that's why I'm not Maybe more hungover. Maybe because I had 12 of them, but... Well, yeah, that's the thing. That's why I'm not more hungover. See, we went out to a bar last night, a regular bar, just a dive great, bar. Great little... Ye Rustic Inn, folks, if you come to great Los food. Angeles. Check it out. Yeah, the food's good. The wings are good, huh? It's the wings, good. the chicken burger, or whatever. The chicken burger. I didn't... You had more food than me. So we were there hanging out, and the comedy store last night was having its big 50th anniversary. And see, I, you know, full disclosure to the folk at home, I hold that place with such reverence, and I'm not past there at this point I've gotten some developmental spots the people they know me there but at the same time I don't want to step on any toes I don't want to be someplace that maybe I'm not allowed to be so a couple people were like come on over and we were like eh, we'll be we don't need to go we went to yeah. a bar and then as the the hours ticked away a couple more people Santino hit him up and was like get on over here everyone was like you guys gotta get down here yeah like, this, so is, this just, sucks it we was, like alright yeah. we went down there Eddie Murphy was there and everyone was like this is boring get the, <laughs> get the boys down <laughs> they go this sucks I wonder if I, I mean Jim I didn't Curry. see obviously we got there at midnight so I mean the party was like at the uh, the party just started when we, it was we just rolled started. in yeah, in true. our shorts and our yeah, we were there in uh, hoodies our and hoodies and jeans, and yeah. everyone else is in suits and ties. Yeah, and everyone was dressed up like James Bond. You can tell all the people who got the late invite because they came in like civilian clothes. <laughs> Everybody else had like tuxes on or whatever. But it's it was. Uh, I also don't give a fuck about the comedy store at all. So it's funny. For well, you, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. For you to be like, oh, this. this well, is what club? Whatever. What club in New York would you compare it to? I mean, unless no you don't one, care about any no, of the clubs. No, fuck them all. You know, yeah. <laughs> I hate anyone that has power over me. So it's like, a, before they can get a chance to reject me, I'm like, Phil, fuck you. Oh, I see. You're one of those guys. So fuck the store, fuck the comedy seller, <laughs> fuck everyone. <laughs> the only thing I care about is Patreon.com. <laughs> I'm going to dump them before they dump me. <laughs> yeah. Someday I'll turn my back on Patreon when they eventually... Do you think Patreon's going to turn their backs? On me? Yeah. No. Because no. they have, I've heard some stories. Yeah, but that's... Cr- the, you have the, to be insane. The yeah, stuff that yeah. those people are saying is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to really start leaning in on uh, certain religious groups if you're, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, you never lean in on them, but you do eventually, eventually you get down to the the brass tacks, which is the Jews are doing something. <laughs> well, that's how everyone's gotten kicked off. They're like, and I'll tell you what about the Jews, and you're like, all right, you're gonna not be on the platforms anymore. It's, we can't have you here anymore. Every con- every conspiracy theorist eventually. Just eventually, it, it all devolves into it just somehow ends up with it just does. It all every single thing. I don't know how <laughs> Michelle Obama being a man leads to the Jews, but I bet you it somehow. <laughs> yeah, somehow they'll eventually be like <laughs> the fucking Jews. Man. It is true. <laughs> Not every anti-Semite is a conspiracy theorist, but I think every conspiracy theorist is an anti-Semite. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> That's a funny theory. Or the, or the, the problem is, is if you're an anti-Semite, now you got to hang out with all these conspiracy nuts. Oh, yeah, they're like, like, oh, this guy hates the Jews too? 
oh, wait, well, let's talk about uh, the pyramids. And yeah. he's like, nah, what? I, I got to listen to some lizard people talk <laughs> yeah, just so yeah. I can hate on, <laughs> hate on some Jews. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to read an email here real quick before oh, we get into the stories because um, I had a story. And uh, Kirsten, can you remind me of this story if I, because I can't remember, but uh, ev evidently I covered a diaper change uh, regarding human trafficking. So what was yeah, that about? That was the guy who was um he was like pretending to be mentally disabled so that people would change his diaper. Oh <laughs> right. Do you hear about that guy? <laughs> this guy was going around, he's like, I'm just mentally disabled. Will you change my die die? But really he was just a pervert who wanted his diaper changed by women. So women would be like, Oh sure and well, then he would change he, his diaper and he would have an erection during it. Of He'd course. Like, that's part of my oh, no. syndrome. That's my special <laughs> erection. <laughs> yeah. I'm so hard. I'm sorry. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Anyhow, this guy wrote in about that. So that was the same guy. He says, uh, during the whole diaper change human trafficking story, you mentioned not wanting to have or make a baby. Interesting. You could have just asked me about if I wanted to have a child. You didn't have to bring up the, uh, the faux TikTok that came up here and was talking about getting his diaper changed. He goes, I was just wondering if you've had or considered getting a vasectomy. And then I got exactly this far into the email and realized that's probably not really a concern for you since you can't finish that way inside of a woman. But maybe if you knew babies were impossible, would it help? Would be interested to hear your thoughts. Plus, you've got insurance now. Might as well make them earn it. And the procedure itself shocked me with how quick it was. That is from Gzilla. I don't know. Would I, what do you think about that? What was she? Is G a he or G Zilla she? seems like a fella who got a vasectomy? Yeah, unless yeah. it's a they who got one. You know, yeah. uh, women can get vasectomies too now. If you read the news, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. So, what do you think about j having kids someday? You think you want to do that? Yeah, I'd like some kids for sure. You seem like one of those guys who's like, I can't wait to have like four kids. I, no, it's either ten or none. Ten. I, That's crazy. Like, yeah, I want to be like like. A bad parent. <laughs> I have That's so many insane. kids where it's like... You want to be Kevin Brennan's dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How one. many kids do you in your in your family? Two siblings. So. Two siblings. Yeah, yeah. I'm the youngest. So you have uh, a smaller family. Because I thought that was like maybe the Irish in you was making all like 10 babies and shit like that. That was the previous generation. I see. So my I think that was every ilk of human in the previous generation. We've kind of come up and we're like, we'd want to bring a kid into this yeah fucking world you know yeah everyone just has one at most yeah and two it, maybe. maybe 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 but you want to have like a whole i'll have a little clan yeah yeah you want to have a football team that's y wild yeah exactly and you and you're excited just a very to pay very, for these? very unathletic football team <laughs> <laughs> just the worst what are you gonna do how are you gonna pay for these uh children you want to get rich first ah, the, government. the government the government yeah. i'm a socialist now <laughs> Of course, I want my ta your taxes to pay for my little circus. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> of kids, I don't. I don't know that I would want to get rid of the possibility of having kids, but I certainly don't want one at the moment. Do you reckon now? I know it's, this is probably like mumbo jumbo, but do you reckon there's a bit of a there's probably a, you probably lose a bit of swagger. I right? wonder there's about probably, that too. Yeah, like a, a sense of drive because you know you can't reproduce. There's just something that gets you out of bed going, man, I could impregnate a woman today. There's just something. That is true. I, I, what uh, else have you got? That's like the last thing you have. I know a few fellows who've gotten vasectomies and uh, they still fuck like chant. Like they are still out there fucking. Yeah. And, but they got them because they have kids already and they're like, I don't want to accidentally make another one. Yeah, for sure. My you dad know. got it. So yeah. maybe you could fuck actually, maybe you get a little more swagger because you're excited about fucking knowing <clears throat> that you won't have an accident. What if I tell people I've had a vasectomy, but I haven't? Is well, that, that's it, almost like... Uh, is that, that's like one of those no-no... That's, that's like, probably like a form of rape, I would imagine. Like a, if the, you put a, a load in them and yeah, then it was a miracle load. It's a gray... A miracle load. That's what you got to call it. You'd be like, oh my God. God a God's baby. I, we're just meant to have this child together. Yeah. Then you could really like you and extend all these, the lie. You and all these other women are just meant to have my children. Yeah. Then I, then it's like, but what about her? And what about her? And what about it's her? God's, God's way. All of them are miracles. That's <laughs> and then like, did you get a vasectomy? And I'm like, hmm? What? Oh. Um, by this yeah, point, no, it I... seems like a miracle that they're not getting pregnant. <laughs> yeah. So what kind of vasectomy was this? Did I get the vasectomy? Yeah, I did. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sure, right? Oh, no, I didn't. You're right. I forgot. Yeah, I guess I never did it. No. 
Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, I don't believe that I will get one anytime soon. But like he said, I'm not jizzing into a lady what, anyhow. What was that about? You know. Oh, I have a. Th- it's a, everyone knows all about it. But I have a, a bit of a syndrome known as a delayed ejaculation, and it's a thing where I uh, I can stay hard. I get hard. I stay hard. I have the sex, but there's no punctuation at the end. I have to finish myself off, basically. Incredible. That's and it's like- it's happened on. A, the very minute occasion where I've like uncontrollably ejaculated like inside like once or twice in my life. Wow, it's crazy. You just got great skills. You, I mean, I, wi- I, I, I don't mind taking that compliment. I wish it was that, but some girls, you know, they get a little annoyed by it. Obviously, it's uh, yeah, they feel like it's that the, they failed somehow. Yeah, they well, don't like that. Two of them got there. Two of them cracked the right. Safe. That's what I said. So I'm like, hey, if they knew how to do it, and it's funny, I went back to the well. On the ones that have worked, and uh, there's no repeat. Uh, no? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, one trick pony. I hear you. So I'm in therapy, and I'm trying to figure out maybe if it's something to do with the wiring up here or something like that, or it could very well just be my uh, biology also. You're you know? circumcised. Right? I am circumcised. That's, Someone yes, said that, too. People are, issue. are you circumcised? No. Man. See, my father 100%, fucked up. 100%, 100%, man. My father is a Greek uh, gentleman, and we talked about this with Stavros. I I had no idea if he was circumcised or uncircumcised, so we called him on the air. And uh, Stavros talked to my dad in Greek, and we found out that my dad is, in fact, not circumcised, but he did it to me. Mm. And he goes, that was your mother. Yeah. The mothers love cutting their kids. They do, in fact. Uh, I want to uh, – you're a big – football fan which i is what we bonded on you yeah. talked to me about the buffalo bills i don't know if you're really a fan of the buffalo bills i'm a you're... i'm a like a you know i feel like i'm a girlfriend at the games you know i like to dress up and scream but i don't get bogged down with the rules <laughs> <laughs> what was your uh did you have a team in ireland like of any sport that you were like growing up i super... supported manchester united okay i was wild into them as a kid and then one day i just sort of stopped i just sort of outgrew it Interesting. I used to have like Manchester United, like wallpaper and like bedding and all that type of stuff. That's me with the bills, but still to this day, yeah, I have everything. The bill, I love the bills. I'm about to go into a new apartment here. I'm like looking diligently for this new apartment that I want. I'm looking for the one, and I've already picked out things I'm going to decorate it with with bills shit. Nice. It's I don't know if it's nice. I feel like I'm a 14 year old in a 36 year old's like lifestyle no dude if you if you don't have sports you end up just getting into you know like cancel culture or something it's like that's what i say people are some people who watch this program they go oh sports no and i go what do you want me to talk about fucking politics you want Mm. me to start talking about how uh the wokies are getting out of control who gives a shit that's why we do sports here let's do it right now do you know who Russell Wilson is, though? Yeah. You know who he is, yeah? What I, do you think of him? Isn't he the big basketball player? Am I crazy? No, Russell Wilson <laughs> is uh, the former now quarterback of the Seahawks, current quarterback of the Denver Broncos. Just was oh. traded in this offseason. But uh, he's a little... Let's just say he tries very hard on social media. He's always constantly like up there putting. He's married to uh, Ciara. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, but the, he's very robotic, and there's just something off. And we're trying to get to the bottom of it. He's him. a nice guy, right? Well, that's what he portrays. I saw. But some. there's going to be something down the road. I feel that's going to come out about Russell Wilson because he's a little too. Uh, I don't know. Let me see here, Kirsten. CTE. We have two things, don't we, from uh, Russell today? Yes, we do. And uh, one of them is he got labeled a square by some other athletes. Is this where you saw my saw? Yeah, I saw this guy. So, yeah, this is uh, from The Pivot. It's called – there's there's a sports podcast that was huge called I Am Athlete. There was, mm. like, a round table of athletes on it. It was Channing Crowder, Chad Johnson, Fred Taylor, and uh, who else? I don't remember who the fourth guy was. But anyhow, it's they 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 must have gotten to some drama. I never found out what it was, and they don't really talk about it because they split into two podcasts. Okay. So now the, this one's kind of trying to like supersede the other one. They're always kind of going back and forth trying to get a viral moment. Mm. So uh, this guy right here, he uh, is discussing Russell Wilson, and he got the culture, let's just say, turned on him for labeling Russell Wilson this way. Yeah. Play it. But uh, Russell and Sierra. Yeah, if Russell ain't had that bread, she ain't gonna be with him. <laughs> Russell's square. 
Sierra had a she she has a good situation, but she was you don't leave future they, and in, get with Russell Wilson. The, the, the thing is, I think that's what you don't leave future and get with Russell Wilson. It's a type. Listen, Women bro, everybody peace. got a type. Yeah, that's true. Everybody has a type. You're going to leave Future and get with Russell Wilson? Is, though, when you he's have, so goddamn square, and I love him on the field. You had he's this. a square. Chani, he's a fucking square. Channing, you go from this level of toxicity, <laughs> you just want something stable. You want the guy that was sitting with that girl with that big old mouth at the draft that was laughing, and you knew she deserved to be with him. <laughs> goofball! Yeah, you want that you guy. You want to get with you, Goofball's no, husband. You want the guy that told me, you know what? I was I was praying and God told me to go save her. That's what the man told me to my face. But even with all, uh, uh, I, ag- is- I agree. By the way, with that guy's assessment, he. But here's the thing, Russell Wilson is putting on, he's putting up the airs that he's a square and that he's a goofball. But I think behind the scenes, he's more like future than we realize. Oh yeah, maybe. That's why he's suspect. Here, listen to this uh, this little video that he put up. And the Broncos decided to share it. It's just all nonsense. Yeah, Russell Wilson here, quarterback. Denver Broncos. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. And uh, you know what's also exciting? I think the Colorado Rockies play this weekend, right? I mean, I think it's opening opening day. You know, baseball, Rockies, Dodgers, great game. I guess I got to go to the game, right? I mean, maybe I'll bring my, my glove. Maybe I'll see you guys there. So he's yeah. all square and weird and creepy, <laughs> but it's like it's like he's trying to like figure out like what normal people yeah. would say, you know? He's like, "Oh, baseball opening day." It's like yeah, he's, you don't have to make this video. Dude. Is he copying the rock or something? Like he's trying to be this nice. Exactly. You know? But he doesn't have the the language or he's just like I don't know if it's nerves or what, but every time he gets on a camera, he starts stammering and muttering and he's like, "Yeah, you know?" And he's, he he hey. thinks he's like being cool or something and it's it's just like, "Hey, but I think when you take the camera off, he's like, get the fucking car yeah. now. You know what I mean? Like he gets Stop real. Stop the car, bitch. Yeah, because yeah. you see him on the field and he's got this look in his eye and you're like, that that's the scary guy. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? Well, anyone that's like that sort of just, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. You know they're a psycho. Exactly. You know they're... they're they're doing the diaper thing, pretending to have special needs so that someone changes that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be that'd be great if that was really what he's been hiding this entire time? He was just uh, sitting by, going, "I get my diaper changed. Daddy wants his dye dye changed Daddy. now." <laughs> That's like th- my argument with that whole thing. By the way, about the diaper thing, mm. is if you want that in any capacity, you are mentally ill. Yeah, so it comes back so full he's not, circle. Yeah, he's not lying. At I the end, yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, he is mentally ill, right? Mm. That's what I believe. Yeah, and we had that was it, right? We just had them clowning on Sussel and and uh, everyone was mad because they were like what? they were clowning on him. They're like, that's crazy. The like, cult, the culture you, to to say that about a black man is insane. Like stuff like that. It was they were clowning on uh, Channing Crowder for clowning on Russell. Really, they started getting up in arms. Like, what are we? What kind of uh, people are we? If 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 we're tearing down this type of person in honor of this type of person it's all kinds of fucking crazy do you know who juju smith schuster is i'm sure you don't he's a wide receiver who loves tiktok okay and he was actually on the pittsburgh steelers he would dance on the field doing tiktoks and then they would get annihilated and everyone was like can you stop can you just stop dancing on tiktok please well it was like that time remember the jets they they went like they finally won game like the Tenth game of the season, they finally won, and all the players were out dancing on. The oh, day. sure, sure, yeah. They were, and everyone's like, "Okay, that was one win." But yeah, they yeah. get the monkey off their back. I get it; they're celebrating. But yeah, to, to celebrate one win is Sad. disgusting. But this guy, he would go out to the logos of the opposing teams and just make them angry, <laughs> and then they would get yeah. destroyed. So it was like, "Hey, don't do that, you fucking idiot!" So now he's on the Kansas City Chiefs, and he's uh, uniting with another force on TikTok that is a force of villainy. Jackson Mahomes. Oh my God! Do you know him, right? Because of that, yeah, for sure. That one supersedes all sports and everything like yeah. that. Jackson Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes' brother. He's doing something right, though. He's more famous than most football players. That's you know? well, that could very well be true. At least in the TikTok world, you is know? he the most famous like sibling, non-sports sibling? I'll say this: Aaron Rodgers' sibling was yeah. pretty famous, and he's still kind of like he's on network. He he does like sports analysis on a network, mm. but he was on The Bachelor. And mm. he uh, did some other things, and also famous for him and Aaron Rodgers never talking. Yeah, but what's his name? I forget what his fuck. There he's, you go. That that's so it all. There you go. 
Patrick Mahomes, though, needs to kind of pull in Aaron Rodgers and be like, hey, Jackson, no more PJs if you keep TikToking on him. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I would I would fucking Will Smith slap my brother across the face oh, yeah. if he acted that way yeah, on my he dime. He needs to just lock, lock him and his girlfriend in a fridge. And oh, the girlfriend, there. too. They're oh, now, now, now they're married. Fuck her. But she's so hot that I feel like she must have some sort of pussy voodoo on him, you know? Is that them up in the... Which one are you showing me here? Is this his whole TikTok? Oh, gross. These aren't even like... This is da- this is like... Uh, I don't know. Oh, my if God. He, it's, it's... If he was paralyzed and then he did that dance, I'd be like, oh, that was impressive. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, if that was your first time walking after 10 years. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah. wow, look at you. You got some moves. Remember he danced on like... Wasn't there like a 9-11 memorial or something? No, it was... Uh, and this is He's kind just, of... He was flossing on it? I'll say... <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, but this is... Uh, it was kind of... He got kind of caught up in the wave. See, he was dancing on what was Sean Taylor's number, and they had Sean Taylor tribute day. Sean Taylor's a NFL player who was murdered in his home uh, during his prime. And so they had, you know, Sean Taylor Memorial Day or whatever it was mm. at the stadium. And every time on the stadium they have, no matter what team it is, they put the friends and family of players and VIPs or whomever on the field into these corrals. So they have like roped off areas. Mm. And the way that it looked, because the number of Sean Taylor is on the field emblazoned in this one part where they happened to be roped off. And it looked like he was dancing on it. Like he stepped into a yeah. rope, like it, like it was a roped off section. The whole section was roped off, oh. but it makes it look like here. Yeah. You he see, it makes it, it yeah. yes, it makes it looks like he, they protected the number and he climbed in and started dancing on it. But really he was just in the corner of the, vi- of the VIP section or whatever it is. And he had to apologize for that, even though he didn't, I would just look down and be like, oh, there's Sean Taylor's number. I shouldn't dance on this. It's the same thing as Juju Smith-Schuster. Don't go to the center of the field and dance on the logo. Just don't dance. Stop Especially, dancing. Yeah, what is the just dancing? Anywhere. What <laughs> is the dancing? Just, Why does this make them go viral? Just be rich. Just chill out. Spend your brother's money. This isn't... Yeah, exactly. This isn't good dancing either. It's like... I, I'm doing it right now. Why doesn't... Pa- I can't believe Patrick Mahomes doesn't just absolutely beat the shit out of him. I right. would slap him in the face and be like, you are embarrassing me. I own the Kansas City Royals now. Yeah. I am the best quarterback in the NFL except for Josh Allen. I, you know, <laughs> I would fucking... And then the the wife, too, I would yell at her a couple of times because she goes like... Uh, she just gets oh, out of pocket. Oh, she's so yappy, too. She just gets out of pocket. Yeah, that just, just sounds like you're just, just like... Oh, my God, stop. No, yeah, it's not that she's even yappy. She's screech. She's screeching. She's like, mm. Wow! And then she's spilling shit on the fans and flicking them off and shit. I'd be like, hey, how about a little decorum? Yeah. You get, know? A, get, get a nice, just just be in the shadows. Chill out. Yeah, exactly. Like you said, just be rich. Sit down. Shh. You can root for me. You think he's in the closet? Patrick? No, 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 no. You I sure? don't think he is. I think, I think there's some other NFL quarterbacks that are. Aaron yeah. Rodgers. Yeah. Well, well, his engagement just recently broke off. Yeah, that's what happens when you're in the closet. <laughs> Heard he was uh, kind of a bad lay from some people spouting yeah, off. Yeah, who was the who was the ex? I think she. Oh, there's so many exes. Yeah, of, Danica Patrick, who's kind of. I think one of them is with um, best John Mulaney now, is she? That's Olivia Munn. Yeah, she and she she, came, she was the one who was spilling the tea about. She him said being I was dating snooze. this. She was like, I was dating this one guy. He's a quarterback. Let's not tell him. Say, let's not say who it is, but let's just say he's. Uh, rhymes with Schmarin. Yeah, he's an elite athlete that. It can only be it one w- guy. It was lights off, doggy style. He made her wear his football pads. <laughs> <laughs> Say hike. That is, well, I'm a Packers fan, you know what I mean? But again, I just threw a dart at a, a bunch of teams. and I picked, Oh, yeah, you told me that too. You I just threw a dart at a team, right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, I was, they were just on TV, and I was like, I'll just support them. And then that was it. See, here's the thing with me with like baseball. I uh, I thought about doing that, or I thought, like, which one should I pick? I really just, I go, you know what, Josh? Just be nebulous. You just like all the teams, depending mm. on who's on them and yeah. what they're doing that year. Like this year, I'm not going to be rooting for the Pirates. They've got a no. payroll of $20 million. I mean, it's like they're not even trying. Uh, you know what I mean? I'll put my efforts elsewhere, but I'm not going to shit on the Pirates. It's whoever yeah. I really bet that day. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I hear you. I'm wearing Dodger stuff now just because I live here and, you know, they're an exciting team. There's some fun players on it, but I'm not a Dodgers fan. I can't claim that. Mm. I would never go around and be like, I'm a. I'm a fan of this team or that team because I didn't grow up being a fan of them. So of I feel fake to me. Yeah. 
You know, people don't understand so, that sometimes. You're calling but, me a fraud, is it? No, I'm not calling you. I just can't. I'm saying I can't uh, for call. baseball. But yeah, no, throwing the dart at the wall because I I think of it for you more. So you were assimilating to our culture, and Absolutely. I actually think that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's a little. It's not exactly like I grew up here, so. Baseball's always been around. I just decided to give a shit about it as an adult, as opposed to mm. when I was a child. You know. Yeah. Who would it? Who would be the closest team for Buffalo? Well, I also base it on because in uh, when it comes to baseball, you have farm teams, right? So yeah. like the farm teams that feed the system, and Buffalo has one of those farm teams, but they've changed major league affiliates five times in my life. So it's like. I can't just keep bouncing around with yeah. where the money goes for Buffalo. Right now, they're with Toronto, and there are a lot of Toronto fans in Buffalo. There's mm-hmm. also a lot of Yankees fans. There's a lot of Mets fans. Some people are Indians fans because you can drive down to Cleveland pretty quickly. But for the most part, I can't you know discern out of all of that. So I just kind of go, you know what? Baseball's fun, so I'm just yeah. gonna like baseball. You know? Yeah. Today's Josh Potter show is brought to us by Babbel. And for most of us learning a second language in high school or college, it wasn't exactly the high point of our academic careers, was it? I mean, now thanks to Babbel, though, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun way an easy way, by the way, might I add, to learn new languages. Whether you'll be traveling around the world, connecting uh, in a deeper way with your family, perhaps of foreign descent, or perhaps you just want to go to a restaurant and be able to impress a lady. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. There's 15-minute lessons. They make it perfect uh, and easy for you to learn a new language on the go. That's the real key part there. Other learning language apps, they use AI for their lesson plans, not Babbel. They've got over 100 language experts, and their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. You can choose from 14 different languages if you want to learn. Hey, learn them all. That'd be wild. And right now you can have that opportunity by going over uh, to Babbel.com using code josh right now you can save up to 60 percent off your subscription when you go to babble.com slash josh that's b-a-b-b-e-l dot com slash josh for up to 60 percent off your subscription babble language for life oh boy folks liquid iv i love them so much and they are bringing you the josh potter show today in more ways than one not only are they having an ad on the program, but they are also keeping me alive at this very moment. Hungover from the old Comedy Store 50th anniversary last night. Boy, oh boy, was it a time, and I wouldn't be able to be here talking to you if it wasn't for the fine folks at Liquid IV. And for you, maybe you're not a booze bag like me, and the new year is here, and there's no better way to kick off 2022 and uh, in this brand new year than making sure you're feeling like your best self. And that involves hydration, my friend. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. So go grab them, my friend. There's so many different flavors. Oh, I love them. And they're making new ones all the time. I can't even keep up with all the flavors. Go check them out and uh, just pick up every single one that you can possibly imagine. Why is Liquid IV so effective? Well, the science of cellular transport technology, you see. It's designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into the bloodstream. One stick of Liquid IV in 16 ounces of water, like I said, hydrates faster and more efficiently than the water by itself. And they've also donated 19 million servings globally because we got to get the world hydrated my friend so grab liquid iv in bulk right now nationwide at costco or you can get 25 percent off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code josh at checkout that's 25 percent off anything you order when you use promo code josh at liquidiv.com experience better hydration today at liquidiv.com promo code josh <clears throat> sorry i'm losing my voice here as we move on, we have some news stories. Would you want to... I, I know you do some of this on your podcast, the Column Tyrell podcast. Everyone should check it out. I did an episode of it. Yeah, please go check it out. Check everywhere. it out and uh, do check out... Uh, do you have any... We didn't even plug your shows. I feel bad off the top. Plug them now in the middle and then we'll plug them at the end. Also. Oh, just head over to my podcast, the Column Tyrell podcast. It's available everywhere. If you're watching on YouTube, um, go leave a comment. Say that you saw me here. That's just nice to see. Yeah, no, do. I love when people do that. Uh, and Column does a great job encouraging his folks to go do that. Yeah. So I want the roaches out there to crawl around. Oh, you're going to get more comments. There's no way you're going to get more comments on my videos from your fans and my fans. 
comments on yours. I don't know. We'll see. I went. I let's have a little contest. I'd like. To, I'd like <laughs> to say that I. I would get more, but I. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, so all the roaches out there, go comment away on columns podcast and uh and make the roach presence known yeah well i've got i've got dates coming up in uh, houston austin san antonio uh indianapolis philly's probably going to be gone by the time this episode comes out it'll be out on tuesday i'm well if you're watching this right now go to the oh tonight. is it that day i'm sorry my bad <laughs> no it's good um but if you follow me on social media i post all my dates all the time so at column Tyrrell across the hell board. yeah dude thank you but um bum ba bum are you aware of semen terrorism no oh my goodness folks well we have to make them aware it's something that we're raising awareness of on this program a lot of men are going around putting their semen onto women putting their semen into drinks putting it on the food things food. like that you know, like, in, you know, if there's a cook or something, he's jizzing into their food, their soup or whatever, and then they're oh. eating it, and then they get off on that idea. They get off on it? Oh, yeah. Some people get off on it. You know, they put it on, they, like, smear it on them and shit on the subway or whatever. Yikes. It's a whole thing, and in Japan, it's especially prevalent, and they're yeah. finally trying to make it a sex crime, but they, and the sex crime is known as semen terrorism. It's coming here stateside, too, as you, as you can see. But I got a uh, article here from uh, Ty Riley, a Roach reporter out there. He says, I'd love to hear your take on Gregory Matthew Bruni. In my mind, he is definitely qualified as a attempted semen terrorist. And so he gives me the article here. Florida homeowner's desperate 911 call reveals the moment a naked home invader allegedly broke into his family's home before pleasuring himself on the floor and then defecating throughout the house. He dropped off my roof and ran right into my house, the terrified owner told the police dispatch. I don't know who the hell he is. He's naked and running in my damn house. So this is on the 911 call. Mm. How does a... I mean, lock your doors, folks. What are we doing? Mm. Lock your fucking doors. How does a, anyone get into your home, let alone a naked man falling off your roof and shit? <laughs> It's wild. The frightened victim told police that he had gone outside to inspect loud noises on his roof around 6.50 in the evening, and a naked man jumped off of it, partially landed on top of him. The man allegedly ran inside the home where the victim left his wife before pulling a 72-inch television off the wall, breaking it on the living room floor. So this man just abandoned his wife into the house. He's like, you, you deal with him. Good luck in there, babe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I that, would have been like, come on, you can lure him into a room. Go run into the room and lure him in. Crazy naked guy is probably like the scariest thing. Like of all, of all yeah. the things that jump down off a fucking... It's the, it is the, the human roof. or the adult version of the boogeyman, in my it's, opinion. It's you know what I mean? It's just a naked... As soon as he's naked, you go, oh, okay, all laws are gone, <laughs> all rules, who knows? That's the naked guy? Yeah, there wow. he is. That's at least him uh, clothed and, uh, you know, his face at least. We don't have... A, does it go further down? Up. Oh, there we go. There's the the house. Oh no, who's that guy? Oh, is it all the same? Just all him in different stages. But just different clothes. haircuts. Yeah. So he broke the television off the wall. Then he allegedly grabbed a vacuum cleaner and emptied its liquid contents on the floor. This guy's just making a mess. That would be so annoying. I'd be like, of all things, <laughs> why do you got to do that? Can you stop, please? Can oh, you just God. break a picture frame or? <laughs> he said, "Wow." <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. Been crazy, Rosie. He's acting insane, but he's also being deliberate about the damage he does. Where's the vacuum? Like, can't you just throw a glass against the wall? You got to take the TV off, yeah, and like, then you're using the vacuum contents because it was one of those liquid, uh, liquid vacuums, you know. Oh. So it had the contents, and he just poured it all over the. I don't know what a liquid vacuum is. Like, uh, it's like a Dyson, is it or something? Yeah, you know the ones that you suck up. You can suck up uh, like liquids if you if you oh. spill a, a liquid or whatever. It's like okay. a, a shop vac or whatever. Okay. So uh, at this moment, the husband told the wife to grab a gun from the back room. When she returned, she fired three shots at the man, but missed, hitting the oh. wall instead. That's oh. why you, you don't have your wife shoot no. the gun. No. <laughs> Go get the gun. Give me the gun. Don't be She's like, oh, put the vacuum down. <laughs> I mean, there are she some did women. More, she probably did more damage than... Unless the guy's like me because of the fact... Yeah, that's right. He probably, she probably sh shot three things in the wall. He's like, damn it! Also, who's this guy? I feel like I could take a naked guy. I feel like well, I Well, uh, do you want to, though? You just said it's the scariest thing. I know, but I'm not going to shoot the guy. <laughs> I think I could just wrestle him. Do you think that you would be less prone to wrestling the man if he were naked as opposed to clothed? Like, clothed, no thoughts about it. You just go wrestle him, right? Mm. But if yeah. he's naked, you kind of have, like... 
<laughs> she's like, no, you're like, oh baby, I'm get, I got, it. don't get the gun, I got them. <laughs> you're sucking them off and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's <laughs> you're just sixty. It's like I think they're uh, having a struggle on the floor. It's really just sixty nine. Yeah, <laughs> just falling in love. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're just, no, babe, I'm subduing him. <laughs> Trust me, he'll, he'll sleep for hours once he comes. I knew you were gonna say something about the gun thing too, because it is. I mean, here, listen, I'm blind, so if I have a wife. And she can handle a firearm better than me. Have at it. Mm. But at the same time, like you said, I can just picture her like, uh, like shaking. Yeah, <laughs> cock back, cracked her in the head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just fucking as I knock my <laughs> headphones off my head, even doing the mime action of it. Woo! L.A. act outs. I've act outs. Hey, there you go. The yeah. L.A. act outs. I've heard so much about. Pratt fall. Uh, at afterwards, it said uh, the homeowner grabbed a, a shotgun now from the master bedroom and then used that to hold him until the police came and he said lay down motherfucker lay down so maybe he was trying to suck his d yeah he allegedly tried to escape police several times prompting officers to use a taser on him to keep him under control he was then taken to a hospital where doctors were unable to immediately identify what he was on winky face okay i'll tell you what it was bath salts you think so yeah mm. i mean or meth yeah it's one of those it's one of those i get naked and run around ones yeah i've never i've never taken any it's not weed it's not heroin. Heroin mm. doesn't make you get naked and run around. Heroin no. makes you go, I'm going to walk into traffic you, and sleep. You tried to get naked, but you kind of give up. Yeah, yeah. You kind—you like can't even get a you, button you, undone. You're you, like, yeah. Uh, you get one sleeve out and then you sort of just. <laughs> yeah, it's like you can kind of like undo your belt maybe and then you're just like, I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those ones where you got, there's only a couple of drugs that are naked and run around into a stranger's house drugs. So I think we can figure it out pretty quickly. But officers later discovered that he had defecated near the home's front door and in the home's hallway as well. In, what? Adding insult to injury there. Just taking his shit. How do you even have time, have time to sh Unless he's just shitting as he's running. He's like, just running and shitting. It's just his ass is open up. He's on poppers as well. So he's just like, like a horse. Maybe that's just true. Runs yeah. and just comes out. He yeah, he, just, yeah, it's just like. like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably liquid diarrhea as well. So it's probably just like pouring out of his ass. If I'm yeah. the homeowner, I'm like, oh, he's breaking the TV. No. Oh, now he's shitting. <laughs> now he's shitting in my hall. Really? Oh dude? my god! I'm not even like mad. I'm annoyed. I don't even care that he's naked anymore. He's shitting in my house. And yeah, and then the guy was like, "That was an accident. I wasn't." Yeah, he's like, <laughs> "Sorry." Yeah, well, the whole time he just wanted to use the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> he couldn't. That's why he was naked. He was on he had, he, that's why he was naked because he had shit himself, and he would look pretty stupid if he just had a shirt on and no pants. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it's a, shitting yourself <laughs> actually. If you're naked, that is the time to shit yourself because you're mm. not sitting in your own shit, right? Dude, I once had. It's pretty clean. I once. Listen to this. I once had like a horrible, violent diarrhea while I was in the shower. It was incredible. And you you just shat into the shower. It was like it was one of those like, like some kind of a movie where I just went. My stomach went boom, and then just immediately flew out. Like I could not stop. Was it pretty tidy because of the shower incident? Like you did it right into the tub, and so the water just washed it. Yeah, down the, the water kind of washed it down, and then I, I think a little bit of stamping. Because I've heard of people bit of stamping them. Oh, you kind of. <laughs> Played around in the mud a little bit, help like it a kid. Help it find its way, but it wasn't oh, nice. <laughs> not much coercion. But of all the times for it to, because if that had been anywhere else, it would have just flew out of my body. Right. So it you was had just pants on and you were out in the street walking oh, around. You would have been. Oh. Then you would have been uh, fucked. It would have been fucked, but it just happened to be. God was like, "Listen, here it is, isn't it right." But now. if you were on meth and you were naked, running around someone's house, and it came out, hey, embarrassing, clean. Yeah. Oops, embarrassing, but also you're not messing up your pants. No. No. Being so. naked is the best time for diarrhea to come out of your body. Yeah. And in the shower of all places, that's it was, wonderful. It was really like a gift of all the, like it wasn't great, but I'm like, it could have been just so much worse. Would you ever, did it make you go, I should shit in the shower more? I, I said, I should, <laughs> I should have more diarrhea. <laughs> I should well, have more diarrhea. Well, I've, I've been living that life, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm starting to embrace diarrhea so I can get through the other side you know what I'm saying yeah I've, got, I've definitely I'm allergic to coffee or something I don't know what it is but no I'm it's us getting older my friend is That's, that what it is I, it's just digestive systems break down and road ass and everything else yeah you don't really think about how tough life is on your body right that's just like one day you're just old and everything hurts and you just have diarrhea constantly. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And then the diarrhea is making you sore. Yeah. That, that's adding to the hurt and things like that. We yeah. got another uh, thing here from uh, Vanessa. 
Ooh. This is uh, Vanessa. She wrote to me, I just found an article about a blind teacher who received a brain implant and regained some of her sight. There's still hope for you. Well, not really. That has That's not going to, you can you can change my whole brain. It's not going to f- affect my sight. No? No, I have, my retinas are are detached. Oh. Or they were detached. It's, it's a retina thing. It's a degenerative disease in my retina. So, I mean, until they can start growing, like, retina on mouse mouse's heads or whatever the fuck then doesn't there's no no one's ever had an operation to fix their retina well you can fix it you can sew it together or you can get it repaired but you can't um get a transplant do you know what i mean you can't get new eyes no you can't get it's the like wall of your eyes you can't fix that it's a tissue so it's like there's doing they're doing stem cell research and there's been advances but nothing that i can like get right i can't go down to rite aid and get some stem cells for my fucking eyes, you know what I'm saying? I can't donate my eyes if I was to die. You can get the, you can donate the corneas. Oh. The center mass of the eye, the muscle, or I don't even know if it's a muscle, whatever the cornea is. Mm. You can do that part of it. But I'm saying if money was no option, it's not possible for you to... No, not yet. Not but yet. there are like some bionic eyes out there which are very interesting. But I want to see what this brain... Because it doesn't make sense to me that a brain thing would help a blind person here. A former science teacher who's been blind for 16 years became able to see letters, discern object edges, and even play a Maggie Simpson video game thanks to visual prost- prosthesis uh, that includes a camera and a brain implant. So she has, like, bionic eyes. That's what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. So you can kind of do that. But this woman, I mean, Bion- is she seeing, really? She can d- see letters and discern. O- I guess that's better than nothing, but... And what? what was they, they played a video game, Maggie Simpson? I guess a Maggie Simpson video game. I don't know what that is. Maybe she... I mean, it could have just been a regular... Simpsons video game, but she only could see Maggie because of her hair yeah. being all wild. She couldn't differentiate. Yeah, she's like, that's Bart, isn't it? Also, if I get bionic eyes, I want them to be able to zoom That's right. what I'm thinking. I want Make me a X-ray. fucking eagle. I, I want to fly see a fighter jet. I want to see some bras eyes. and panties. Yeah. That's enhance, what I enhance, 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 enhance. Yeah. It's, just... not, it's not illegal. It's not illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I mean, because sometimes you can't see where my eyes are looking, so I used to tell a joke on stage where I'd be like looking this way, and I'd be like, and I'm looking down this lady's shirt. No one can even it would be like, oh, ha, 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 he's so blind. <laughs> Look at that blind. <laughs> Look at this Look at goofy. that little blind goof. Yeah. yeah. This is wild, though. It's, a, an, it's an all an experimental type of thing, and it's a long-held dream of scientists to uh, start making these types of eyes. So I think someday, you know, it was with technology going the way that it is, we can probably get to that point, you know, where you yeah. can zoom in and you can... I, You know what's kind of scary, though? They start doing this, then you're in the recording business. Yeah. Do you want that? You want everything you see to be recorded forever into like a hard drive? Mm. I I mean, that would be terrifying. Is it Black Magic? Black uh, Mirror. Black, Black yeah. Mirror, sorry. That Black, Black Mirror episode is yeah. that makes me go, I don't want this at all. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, it's a episode where in Black Mirror everybody can record things into their brain and then replay them. And this man has a suspicion that his wife is cheating on him. Turns out he's true you know. Turns out he's right. They all, they're all cheating, fellas. They're all cheating. You think that's Just, true? They, they, they all, yeah. Well, in this they, case, it's there's not a woman it. alive. That's she honest. made him. He made her. I mean, replay it onto his screen. It's so fucking yeah, yeah. masochistic. I, he, I feel like he held a knife to someone's head or something, didn't he? I think that happened down the road. I think it, it all devolved after that one incident. But yes, yeah. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want everything I see, and I don't see much. Trust me with these bad boys, but. I don't want everything I see to be recorded so that I can replay it. There's some things I do. I wish I could pick and choose. Yeah. But if you have it just going constantly and it's up Like an embarrassing cloud, moment, delete it, gone. Right. Yeah. I want to delete a lot of things, but I also, there's some things I, you know, you have memories, but I kind of want to go back and rewatch them. You know what I'm saying? It's mostly sex stuff. It's all sex stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's all sex it's stuff, a, really. you're a deviant. Yeah, there's really nothing else. I don't have a kid or anything. It's not like I want to go back to my child being born or I want to go back to my wedding. No, it's all sex stuff for sure, 100%. Yeah. I would do that. Just think of my girlfriend when she was hotter. <laughs> <laughs> just think of my girlfriend from four, four Rewind years, time. Four years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, before she got complacent. <laughs> before she let herself go. Oh, let's get to this one before we wrap things up here. This one uh, is from Justin. He sent this in. It's called Bullets in a Toaster which is very interesting. Ammo and toaster sparks fire in Southern or South Carolina senior home. So this is an old people's home. Mm. And uh, evidently, police responded to a fire alarm in the sound of gunshots 
in this assisted living facility, a resident had placed several rounds of ammunition into a toaster. Hmm. They say that the ammunition discharged on Sunday night, making employees believe a shooter was on the property. Turns out it was just a guy trying to make toast, and he was, you know, had amne- you know, whatever that is, Alzheimer's. And yeah. He was like, oh, this is where the bullets go. I'm putting it in. He thought he was in World War II. He's having <laughs> flashbacks. And uh, everyone's like, oh, it's a fucking shooter. We got a shooter, active shooter. And it's not. It's a toaster going off. The resident was found unconscious and taken to the hospital to be treated for smoke inhalation. No other injuries were reported. But that's that's what we got to. We got to watch these elderly folks at these assisted living things a little more closely. They're yeah. all fucking each other. How do you get bullets, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't seem like the venue for a, like a mass shooter. It's right, like, why would they... Like, that's just, the, just wait. <laughs> that's the... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, at this point. A, <laughs> exactly. That's out. the other thing. If you're a, a nurse, I would have gone to any conclusion aside from mass shooter because I would have been like, why? Yeah. What do you try? Like, yeah, just wait. They're all old. Go. That's why the mass shooters are at schools where they're young and shit. Yeah, of course. That's like... A, more of a, at least there's some honor to some school shooting. <laughs> they have the opportunity to run away, not just I, some guy, not just someone in a bed. If there was a mass shooting at an assisted living home for the elderly, I don't even think people would give that much of a shit. I don't think it would like, make the news. All right, that's just cleaning out tax tax money right there. We're just getting rid of just that yeah. clean it. That's, that's like I mean, how many did Cuomo murder? Cuomo has a. Yeah, he's got numbers like Hitler. Yeah, they were and, stocking up old people like cordwood by the shore during oh, COVID, you know, it was, and it was... No, everyone was like, ah, he's still... It was like the killing fields. I'm going to buy his book. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oi, have to get away with it. Hey, I killed all these old people. <laughs> I killed some old people and uh, I wrote a book about it. Yeah. How you doing? Making money off Pop Pop's death. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, then so he got he, fucking, you no know... No one cares about old people, yeah. Yeah, no one cared. And then it, it took him molesting uh, a couple ladies for him to get kicked out. Of. No one like, brought I'm up not, the old people Because I'm Italian. I'm not a pervert. I'm Italian. Right. And they were like, but you are also genocidal with the old people that you've murdered. And yeah, he was No always, one brought it up. He, I'm, I'm, I, my gut instinct is always wrong, right? But the mm-hmm. uh, second I saw him, I hated him straight away. Interesting. Cuomo was the first one because everyone loved him. Once I saw everyone loved him, I was like, nah, fuck this guy. Well, and I mean, tur- I, and he turned the pandemic into his face. That's the thing. I didn't understand the love. I'm like, well, he's not doing anything. Like, what? Are, he yeah. didn't beat the. We're in the pandemic still. He's putting out a book that's like, how I won the pandemic, and yeah. you're like, how the fuck? We're in October. The second yeah. wave hit immediately after that thing hit the shelves. Absolutely. And uh, you know, half the people uh, that died I, died in the, after that book them. came out. And we would all like when COVID first happened, and we were all sitting around, and we didn't know what was going on. And he came out, and he was like sharing his annoying allegories you know it's like growing up my mother used to make spaghetti and you're like what the <laughs> fuck has this got to do with that oh your mother made spaghetti no kidding and then him and his fucking mother <laughs> and his brother that prick too the two of them would go on tv and they were like they would go viral for ribbing but isn't it wild that we are not that far removed from that and they're both just wiped off the face of good, the planet good good they're two scumbags and um, they're, but they're in they're, they're in that scumbaggy world you right know right I mean? it's just nice to I know to that hate, it came around the other side though I hated it they would they'd be, they would be roasting on CNN they'd be like mama mom said I'm her favorite and they'd be like oh no <laughs> no no I can do more push ups than you and they'd be like shut the fuck Oh, <laughs> can we do something? <laughs> I mean, coming over here and seeing our politicians must have been alarming at first, when it, or is it, or is it kind of more of the same? You're like, no, well, there's snakes all over the world. Yeah, unfortunately, exactly. but you you can't you can't get into power if you're not a horrible prick. Like it's like you gotta like if you came out and was like, hey, everyone, things are gonna get a lot worse before they get better. And then this person goes, I'm gonna make everything better. And you're like, he's lying. They'll vote for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. then you gotta go. All right. I'm going to also make everything better. Sure. Otherwise, no, you're you'll right. just lose. You're just a fucking loser. Well, it's just even the, the the struggle to get up to that level, they weed out the nice guys. Let's just put it that way. Or, yeah. they, get, or they corrupt them. You mm. know what I mean? They go, well, this guy, he's got a winning uh, attitude about things. He's got a smile. Here's a little money from this or that. Yeah. Now make sure that you take care of your own how about that and so as along the way you just get corrupted by things and you do yeah that's, that's how actually, it's impressive I, I actually like all like it's a it's impressive the, the level of like just corruption and lying 
and the, the balls to just go out and lie all day, every day. It's and wild. It's, yeah, and then you just kind of go, all right, you go back to your house and you just live. I yeah, mean, you just sort of go, well, there's another day. I guess I survived. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just yeah. get home and go, whew. Fuck. I would be up at night like, oh, what lie did I tell today? Yeah. I don't even remember what lies I'm telling anymore. Yeah. And I would spiral out of control. But that's like, why I do this instead. I'd rather just sit up here and cut my yeah, wrists open. I'm watching a sh show about Elizabeth Holmes. Do you know her? The, she, she had that ther Theranos or whatever. And she just right. could, they just pretended like they had like this equipment that could read your blood. Oh, really? Yeah, she, it was like the, one of the biggest startup companies. Oh, that's valued right. at sorry, billions. Yeah, yeah. She was like the youngest self-made billionaire and then eventually everyone was like, yeah, we just don't actually have that equipment at all. Turns out uh, that's not real and uh, we so, lied about it. So, a little thing about that, I've been lying <laughs> for a long time. Now, when it comes to the actual equipment, Hmm? It's not real, turns out. So yeah, people ask, can we see it? No. Hmm? Sorry. Oh, I, I got to take this. I got to. You know, we thought it would be built by now. But it's inc it's incredible. I like when they do it. Like, it's like, it's impressive. It is something, because it's a different, it's a different thing. You have to be a certain type of person to be able to do that, because not everybody can pull that off. But actually, it, it's a lot of skill to even lie your way to the top. Right. Like, no, it's for like, sure. Just like, go do it. You go do that. That's like. No, exactly. She achieved more <laughs> than anyone else will ever achieve. It's, it's crazy. Great. Yeah, no, that that was a wild story. I I haven't watched that documentary yet or whatever it is the yeah. show about it, but I I'm looking forward to checking it out. Uh, but I'm looking forward to uh, the Roach is going to check out your podcast, the Colin Tyrell podcast. Go check it out on YouTube. What day does it come out? Comes out every Friday. Every Friday, folks. Yeah. So go comment on his thing, like he uh, had folks comment on mine, and make your Roach presence known in the comments section Hell of yeah. Colin's podcast. Looking yeah, for forward. sure. I can't wait. Uh, but tell everyone else where they can find. Uh, I know you want everyone to go to the podcast, but is there anything else you want to plug one more time? Just my we social get out media at Colin Tyrell. Yeah, please. Yeah. Spell it for the folks because we, we like spellings here. C O L U M T Y R R E L L. Colum Tyrell. Nice. Two R's. Two R's, yeah. So I fuck that up, I think, sometimes. That's so okay. I'm glad you spelled it everyone, because. Everyone fucks it up all the time. Yeah, I'm glad you spelled it because I would have fucked that up so i'm glad that we found that out if you want to uh continue please subscribing to all the things on my channel as well please hit subscribe hit the bell if you're an audio listener subscribe there rate review like all those things help so much and you don't have to really do much it takes you two seconds and it helps my whole life so please to be continuing to do that subscribe to the patreon also at Josh underscore Potter on Instagram, at J underscore Potter on Twitter. There you can find links to everything, including show dates, the Patreon, whatever you want. So I, I love you, and we will see you next Tuesday here on The Josh Potter Show. <laughs>